Hey class, <clears throat> sorry for the delay in this video, but I had to wait until my voice somewhat returned to normal, so it's a little better today. So this video is going to be on ellipses centered not at the origin or centered at HK. So first, here's just some standard equation of the ellipse that's centered at HK. Um, we still have if A is the bigger value and it's under the X, then it is a major axis is horizontal in the x direction. If our a, our larger value, is under the y, then we have a vertical major axis, so up and down. So you can see those pictures below here. Then we define the major and minor axis lengths as well. The major axis has a length of 2a. So from the center to the vertice is a distance of A. So we say the major axis has a distance of 2A. Then the minor axis, since the distance from the center to the co-vertice is your B, the minor axis has a distance, a total length of 2B. <coughs> Looks the same with vertical as well. You can take a look at this after we do some examples that will make more sense. Basically what it's saying is if your center is at HK, um, you if it's a vertical ellipse, then to find your vertices, you're changing the Y coordinate by a value of A. And to find your foci, you're ch changing the Y coordinate by a value of C because it's the Y value that's that's changing if it's a vertical ellipse. If it's a horizontal ellipse, like over on the right, then it's the x value that's changing for the vertices in focus. So let's graph one. So your center is going to be at negative 1, 5. I get those points from inside my parentheses since the original is x minus h and x minus k. It comes out as negative 1, 5. The major axis in this one will be the y-axis because 9 is the bigger value between 9 and 4, which means that that's our a squared value. a squared equals 9, so a equals 3, which means our major axis has a total length of double 2a, so our total length will be 6. So from our center, negative 1, 5, in the y direction, so vertically, we're moving it a value of 3. So from the center, up 3. Now that's going to be at negative 1, 8. And then from the center, down 3, that's going to be the point negative 1, 2. Now you can see that the x values and the vertices did not change. They remained negative 1. The y value increased and decreased by 3, the a value. So that is your um, h and then k plus or minus a value there to get your vertices. You're changing your y value by a factor of a up and down. <coughs> Okay, the minor axis is the x-axis because the smaller value, 4, is under the x. So the 4 is our b squared value, which means that our b will be 2. So from the center, negative 1, 5, we go to the right 2 and to the left 2. As you can tell from my graph, those are the points 1, 5, and negative 3, 5. I moved the co-vertices from the center. We moved the x-coordinate because it was a horizontal shift from left to right. So we went from negative 1 plus and minus um, 2, and then the 5 stayed the same. So negative 1 plus 2 gave me the 1. Negative 1 minus 2 gave me the negative 3. So basically you're doing a horizontal shift, so you're moving the 
x coordinate this time, right and left. So that gives you enough information to draw your ellipse. <coughs> now for the focus points. And you do still use the same equation, a squared minus b squared equals c squared. So a squared is 9 minus b squared is 4. So c squared is going to equal 5, which means c equals plus or minus the square root of 5, which for graphing purposes is about 2.2. Remember that the y-axis was your major axis, and the foci always lie on the y-axis. So for graphing purposes, from the center, you're going to go up 2.2. That's going to be the ordered pair 1 and approximately 7.2. And then you go from your center and you go down 2.2. Well, that's the point 1 and then it's um, 2.8. <laughs> to write those points in exact form, notice how the x coordinate stayed 1 both times. Or I'm sorry, it should be negative 1. And then the y coordinate, I at first I added the square root of 5. So that's my first coordinate, 5 plus the square root of 5. My second coordinate is negative 1 and 5 minus the square root of 5. So those are the exact values of those points for my focus, my foci. All right, let's do another one. <coughs> Excuse my cold. Okay, this one has a center of negative four, negative eight from the parentheses. I notice right away that my a squared value is 225, it's the bigger one. So this time, the x-axis will be, or the x-direction will be my major. So it's, it's a horizontal ellipse instead of a vertical ellipse. And since a squared is 225, that means a will be 15. And b squared is 144, so b will be 12. So in order for to make this fit, I'm actually going to have to change my scale and count by twos. So graphing my center, said so negative 4, negative 8, if counting by twos is right there. Now I'm going to find my vertices. Again, since this is a, a major axis, is a horizontal axis, because the bigger value is in the x direction, I'm going to go 15 to the right and left of my center for my vertices. So I'm going to count to the right, 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, and then to the left, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. I'm going to get rid of those dots in between. <clears throat> okay, since I counted by twos, you could go up here and say, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 11, and, oops, positive 11. And then down 8. And then um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So it would be negative 19 and down 8. So using just my graph, you can find the vertices that way. Or you can remember the vertices, since it's a horizontal, it's the x-coordinates that changed. So I took my current center, negative 4, 8, and I added and subtracted 15 from the x-coordinate, and I left the y-coordinate the same. So negative 4 plus 15 gives me the 11. Negative 4 minus 15 gives me the negative 9. Those are my two vertices. Covertices are, you use the B value, my B is 12. Covertices are on the minor axis this time, which is the Y direction, the vertical stretch. <coughs> so from the center, up 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 right here. 
and down 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 right there. So from my picture, you can see like my first vertice is going to be negative 4, 4 co-vertice. So that's this one up here, negative 4, 4. And then the one below will be negative 4, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, negative 20. So without the picture, I am thinking I'm changing the y coordinate, the y value, by a negative, or by 12. So I'm keeping the x coordinate negative 4, taking the y coordinate of negative 8 and adding 12 and subtracting 12 to it. Adding 12 gives me the negative 4, 4. Subtracting 12 gives me the negative 8, negative 20, or negative 4, negative 20. So those are your co-vertices. So that gives you enough information to draw the ellipse. Then to find your focus points, you're going to do a squared minus b squared equals c squared. So 225 minus 144, which is 81. So square root both sides, I get c equals plus or minus 9. Remember that the, this was a horizontal major axis so along the x direction. So that's the center from, from the center plus 9 to the right. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. <coughs> 9 to the right, 9 to the left in the x direction because it's always on our major axis for the focus. Which means our x coordinates going to change. It was at negative 4. I need to add and subtract 9 to my x coordinate. My y coordinate stays at negative 8. So your focus points, negative 4 plus 9 is 5, negative 8. That's the one point to the right here. And then negative 4 minus 9 is negative 13, negative 8. That's my focus point to the left. So those are my two foci. Okay, so that's graphing. So if you just needed to review that, there you go. Next, I'm going to do writing the equation. <coughs> okay. I'm actually not going to use this picture of this graph that I have here because it's not big enough to um, plot these points. So I'll have to change that for next year. But I'm going to write the equation with an ellipse at vertices of 8, 9, and negative 2, 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a graph. So here's my xy sketch. And I'm going to graph the point negative 2, 9. And then I'm going to graph the point 8, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 9. So I'm estimating where the 9 is. Since these are my vertices, I know that if you were to connect, or if I know that if I was to connect these two, this would be your major axis, which means that this is a horizontal ellipse. Since it's a horizontal ellipse, it will have the equation of x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Since it's horizontal, the a squared value will go under the x. So to write the equation, I will need to figure out what my A value is, my B value is, and my HK. So I can first find my A value because I know that the total length of the major axis is 2A. And from negative 2 to 8 is a total length of 10. Essentially, it's 2 plus 8, so it's a total length of 10, which tells me that my A value will be 5. If I know my a value, then I know my a squared value will be 25. So I have one part. So if I know then my a value is 5, I can use that to find my center. Because then if I go and count backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here would be halfway in the middle. You can see this on this side too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So that gives me my center at 3, 9. So I have a center at 3, 9. My A value of 5, center at 3, 9. That's my HK. So then I'm going to use my other information that was given, and that says the focus is at 7, 9 and negative 1, 9. Remember, the distance from the center to the focus is your C value. So if I'm given the focus, essentially I'm giving you the C value. You just have to figure out what it is. So if I plot the point 7, 9, nine up here, how far is it from the center 3, 9 to the focus 7, 9? So the focus was at 7, 9. So that's a distance of 4. From 3 to 7 is a distance of 4, which means my C value then is 4. So now that I have A and C, I just need to find B. So I can use the equation A squared minus B squared equals C squared to find B. So 5 squared for A minus B squared equals 4 squared for C. So 25 minus B squared equals 16. Subtract 25 on both sides. Negative B squared equals negative 9. B squared equals 9. So now I have B squared equals 9. I can write my equation. I have my center of 3, 9. So X minus 3 squared over a squared, which was 25, plus, then the other point in my center was 9, so y minus 9 squared over 9 equals 1. <coughs> so I had to remember that the a value is the center to the vertices. and that the major axis was 2a in length. Then the b is the center to covertices. And then the minor axis then would be 2b. And c is center to foci. And then I also needed to know this equation. So those are the key pieces that you need to know to write an equation. I'm going to do one more in this video. It's getting kind of long, but. <clears throat> so this one starts as an ellipse with a major axis length of 10. <coughs> Excuse me. That information tells me that 2A equals 10, which means that A equals 5. Then it tells me that the focus is at the point 1, negative 2 plus the square root of 20, and 1, negative 2 minus the square root of 20. That information is really important because essentially it tells me my C value. Because if you think of the going to the point 1, negative 2, um, then negative 2 plus the square root of 21 you know I'm not exactly sure what the square root of 21 is and it doesn't exactly matter but I'm gonna pull it up here quick <clears throat> the square root of 21 is 4.6 so negative 2 plus 4.6 would be 2.6 so up here and then negative 2 minus 4.6 would be negative 6.6. So down here. <clears throat> but what matters is that this distance <clears throat> is your C value. So this, I went up. Well, actually, I kind of messed that up. <clears throat> Sorry. Essentially, how we should look at this is that the only part that's not changing here in these two points is the 1 and negative 2. So the 1 and negative 2 is your center. I drew it 
at one negative two, I drew your center. And then that point from negative two, it goes up two point or four point, and then down 4.8 or 4.6, up and down to get your foci points. That's your C value. So C is the square root of 21 is what I'm getting at. I kind of botched this example already. I'm sorry. So your center is 1, negative 2. And since the center is changing by the square root of 21, that's your C value because that was your focus point. The focus gives me my C. Since it's changing the Y coordinate, that means that the Y is your major axis, which means it is a vertical ellipse. Because the Y coordinate is the one that's changing, which means it will be X minus H squared over B squared and Y minus K squared over A squared. I just need to find, I have A and C, I still need to find what B is. So A squared minus B squared equals C squared. So to be 5 squared minus B squared equals square root of 21 squared. So 5 squared is 25, and square root of 21 squared is 21. So negative B squared equals negative 4, so B squared equals 4. So now you can plug it in. Kind of ran out of room here, but final answer. Center is at 1, negative 2. So x minus 1 squared over 4 for b squared plus y plus 2 squared over a squared, which would 25 equals 1. <coughs> All right. You can probably stop now. I didn't do this example in class, but I am going to add it to the video in case you want one more example. Find the equation of the ellipse with the foci is at 0, 1, and 4, 1, and a major axis of a length of 6, as shown in the figure below. Okay, so the major axis is 6, which means that my A is 3. Since my focus points are at 0, 1, and 4, 1, that, those are 4 apart. So 4 apart, so if you count back 2, that gives you your center point. So it shows us in our picture our center is at 2, 1. It's halfway between the two focus points. It also tells me, since the x-coordinates are the ones that are changing, is it will be a horizontal ellipse because it's the major axis is along the x. It also gives me the c value. Since I know the center now, from the center to the focus is a distance of 2, and that's my c value. So now I have a is 3 and c is 2. So a squared minus b squared equals c squared. 3 squared minus b squared equals 2 squared. So 9 minus b squared equals 4. Negative 5. b squared equals 5. So I can write my equation. It is a horizontal, so a squared will go under the x. The center is 2, 1. So x minus 2 squared, then over a squared, which is 9 plus y minus 1 squared over b squared, which is 5, equals 1. Okay, well, I hope that's helpful. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Sorry about the voice. <laughs>